Should I shave my beard off? No, never in a million years. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, never mind. Tell them what we're doing. We are going to Scott Antique Market. Yeah. Woo. What are we going to find there? Games. Video cool games, things. maybe. Antiques. And things that you like. Yes, and yeah. things that you like, hopefully. And join us on our vlog today. We're going to have fun. All mm -hmm. right, let's go. All right, let's go. Where's the keys? There's the keys. All right. We are in Columbus. Columbus, woo. Yeah. To me, this feels like just as big as New York City. Construction. Construction. Always here in Columbus. Mm-hmm. Buildings. Always buildings in Columbus. <laughs> yep, I'm most excited that we have to pay the park. Mm-hmm. We made it. We made it. We made it. Yay! Yay! All right, let's go. Castle first. Look at this castle. All these guns. All these real. You got a frog. Bugs Bunny. Ooh, that's a helmet. Nice. What is the symbol? That's cool. I don't think it's that simple, it's Aww, just cool. Look at that, we got the little pet goat. What does it say year this is? Stamp here, postcard. These are postcards? Yeah, people would get postcards of their photographs. Oh, okay. <gasps> video games, booth number one, we got a video game already. And this is the one I wanted for my personal collection, but it's $20, I'm gonna find it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I am gonna confirm, it does come with two discs. Yeah. I'm gonna glance through these, I don't think, I, I'm assuming all this is overpriced, guys. I'm not even gonna look these ones up. So let me know if you think I'm an idiot for not looking them up, see if we can flip them. I'm looking for steel books, guys, you know that. $6, $8, I might look. Look, we got Dr. Mario with manual. Robocop with manual, skate or die with manual, oh back to the future with manual, sweet. Okay guys so I did look it up, this with manual might be worth it and the I might be able to make five dollars a piece off these because they go for like 25, uh, 35, 30, 35 dollars but we're, we have a lot more to look at in this antique store so we might come back from, but I'm gonna assume no. Also, awesome looking. But that's the price it's going for. I can get it for 16 at Game On anyways. So let's move on. Heidi thinks I should buy this. Let me know if I should. $30 though. What do you? All right, uh, let's move on. Founder. Shoot, she, she must have gotten bored. Must have gotten bored because I was scanning all the games that I said I wasn't gonna scan. Oh, look at this, look at this couple. <laughs> this is how they spend a day at the beach. All completely dressed up, buttoned up. This fellow just his bicycle. Oh, the other day I had a Halo 3, and inside the manual it said this game rocks, and it said this game got me through uh, school. I don't know what I'll do without it. Rock on. <laughs> That's what it said on the manual. And I sold it. I think you guys saw that. Check it out in this video. <laughs> guys, I miss this. A whole bunch of manuals for 35. All right, man, enjoy. Do you know what's in here? Yeah, a bunch of books. I don't know which books. Manuals. Like games. Manuals to yeah. different games. You got that poster too. This poster? Yeah. Superman. Let me see. Why did I say Superman? <laughs> then Super Mario. Super Mario. Then you got the actual console book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually have one of those at home. Yeah. Oh, Rob manual. 
Guys, let me know in the comments down below if that was worth it. I don't know what the this is. Oh, the Rob poster. That's sick. All right, we're gonna go back to the Sega Genesis. The owner of that last shop was pretty cool. All right, we finally made our way over to the Sega. Oh, a lot of PlayStation games. Is this the Master System? Sick, the Sega Master System. I'll have to look up those, they can go for good money. What do we got in here? Back to the Future? Mario! Is it Mario Duck Hunt? Aww. Oh, that's only, that's not as much as you would think it would be. Back to the Future, Mario and Duck Hunt again? Ah, oh, Duck Hunt. Hogan's Alley. Gremlins 2. Speed Punks. Japanese edition import of... What is that? Uh, okay. Earth Jam. Pokemon theme song. They got a Pokemon theme song! Crimson Commission. Got Doom on Dreamcast. I bet my editor would love that. One of them. PlayStation Bass Fishing. Magic Gathering. I don't know what that is. Another one of these. Yeah, they're the same. Wait a minute! Sega PC collection. Sick. Gears of War. Left. Left. What is this? Oh. Lethal Enforcers Gunfighters. Okay. Army 3D. This game. There's an army game on uh, GameCube I like. Area 51. Free Real Fishing. And then all the PlayStation games. PlayStation 2 games. You guys see anything worth money that I missed? Let me know. Alright, and they got some more games over here. I didn't even see them. It looks like these are all PC games though. I don't know, some PC games go for money. We've learned that through our adventures. We got Sims, Call of Duty 2. I'm gonna assume most of these PC games are not worth it. But we can go through. Maybe we'll go through them. What's that? Oh, there we go. Heidi might like that game. Where is Heidi? I lost her. I lost my girlfriend. Heidi, I found a game you might like. Oh yeah? I found this game. Is that a game you would like? No, not that one. All the ones in here are $5 each. $5 a piece? What about the PlayStation 2 games over there? They're all marked the back. So I can take them out of that thing and look at them? Okay. Yeah, this is definitely the kind of thing I would play. That's, yeah? That's $5. Awesome. Age of Empires, Asian Dude, I love Age of Empires. We have, we played Age of Empires 2 on the channel. Check it out. Number 3 is okay. Number 2 is my favorite. Civilization, I haven't played that yet. I think I own one or two of them, but... A lot of these games seem to be a little overpriced. So we're not going to look at it all. We didn't look at the PlayStation. I only looked at some of the other things. So that way we can keep moving on and find other games. Yeah. You know what this is? Malibu Barbie? This is the Barbie Ferrari Testarossa. Say that again? It's the Barbie Ferrari Testarossa. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Does it take batteries? No, it's just a Barbie car you push it. Oh, this there is, you go. This is literally my dream car, but in a Barbie size. I'm yeah. Your dream's not worth thirty dollars, I take it. Well, I also don't know where to sorry what huh? He said you want me to ask and see if you'll go lower? Oh they are the seats. Yeah. It's really cool. I've we seen got it. Barbie's too here. Yeah. Alright guys. I love Thank you. <gasps> Sega. I see a Sega over there. I'm going to the Sega. Sega. 
This game goes for ten dollars. Sega's go between forty and seventy dollars. This is model one, I believe. I've been doing a little research on Sega's. Uh, I would buy it for twenty dollars, but I don't know what the price is, so I'll ask them later. I feel like 20 would be a good margin for me. We need to find that guy figure out what the price is. The guy who talked to you. Yeah. Hey, excuse me, sir. Hi, Do you yeah. know how much the Sega is? Do you know how much the Sega is? It's 40 bucks. 40 bucks? All I got is one thing, but it, here's what goes with it. Right there. Right, right, right. That seems like a good price, but I'm probably not your buyer at that. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Where do you want to be? Uh... Probably half that, but I don't want to insult you with that offer, so that's why I was walking away. What? 25? I've been asking 40 all day, and it did. Do you have? Well, so it's time to do you have? Do you accept credit card? I'll take a check on my card. Date. Um, I'll be back. He said 25 for the Sega. I might buy it that price. I might buy that Sega at 25 dollars, mm -hmm. but I don't have cash. Mm -hmm. So we might we might come back. Mm -hmm. Let me know. Let me know, guys. Twenty five good for that. I think what we're gonna do is come back at the end, and when we're done, see if he still has it, and see if we still have twenty five dollars in cash. Because how much cash did you bring? I don't know. I brought no cash, only card, because I'm smart. No, because you're not smart on that. I am the one, the way your time don't need. I'm smart. Go to antique mall, bringing only credit card. Oh, that's cool. Really? Ooh. <laughs> I see Jesus. I see the light. I see the light. No more darkness. No more light. The bigger Jesus over there. Jesus. I'm just surprised that I'm able to actually find some video games here. I was afraid we want to find any, honestly. Find any worth buying? The they uh they make you look uh they match your eyes. Okay, bye. No, your eyes aren't evil. You don't have red eyes. I don't know. I'm trying my dag on hardest to give her a compliment guys and I can't do it. Can't figure it out. I'm not creative. That's a creepy monkey. <laughs> oh here we go. A cane sword? Oh, Jack the Ripper. But put, put that back in there and show us. Now uh, use it as a cane. Pretend you're old and crippled. And then Jack the Ripper comes at you. Twist the thing. That is so neat. That is really neat. It's a glow in the dark kryptonite rock. Oh, you found another cane thing? That's pretty cool. Dude, we got kryptonite. We can we can buy this to defeat Superman. Why would we want to defeat Superman? I don't know. We hold him for ransom and um, charge money to get him back. <laughs> like all the good villains. Or they want to kill him. Oh, whoa. This box is cool. It like opens up weird. Put that back. The Indians. That's a baseball team in, uh, here in Ohio. But this is cute. Oh, look at that. It needs that paint wiped off, though. Guys, does she need her own channel? That is so cool. What is this? I don't know. I put. That, I think this is inkwell. Ink? It's an inkwell stand. Oh, my oh that's God. cool. 
120? I can't afford that, it's so cool. You look so sad and defeated. You like really wanted that. What is this? It's art. Hey, I found Captain America. I gotta find Heidi, guys. I lost her. Help me find her. Do you see her? Help. Found her. Did you find her? I found her. We were looking for you. Oh. We found you. Yes. I found something really cool. What'd you find? I found something over here. A basket? Nope. It is a beautiful unused photo album. Look at that. It's wood. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, it is wood. Yeah. So you just paste your pictures in there. Wow. Isn't that neat? Yeah. I don't <laughs> see the back. Oh, it's just black. Yep, just lacquered. Lacquer. Oh. Ah! You bit my finger. Yeah. Just trying not to get lost, Heidi. Okay. I already lost you a few times now. Alright. Are you, are you okay? Yep, I'm okay. Are you dying? Nope. Okay. She's still alive. I see metal dice. I love dice. Do you know how much these dice are? Five bucks. All right, thank you. Have you penny. ever seen a penny that small? <laughs> what? A Nixon penny? I don't know a thing about this. That's awesome. I wonder if that would work to actually buy things. In the state of Pennsylvania. And this reminds me of the, I think it's called the Jade Lich or something from um, Outward. Me and my brother Babs played that, but that part, that video, you don't get to this till the end of one of the DLCs, um, the Sora Borean DLC, and we haven't made videos on that. We live streamed it, but we didn't make videos on it. I see Mario toys now. Got Mario over here, and there's some more stuff on this table. Mario toothbrush there we go Mario soccer net look at this ready let's see what we get a coin or a one up cool little cup oh, that's a cool little super mario world nintendo official player guide Mario 64? Add? Oh, that's kind of cool. How much are a lot of these things back here? Uh, uh, this guy? The little controller flesh? Yeah. On the file on that one. Okay, and then... Uh, the on the package. You, is this... Uh, the insert, I'll do three bucks on it. Okay. What is this? Do you know? That's oh, the sensor for the power cord. Oh, where's the power glove? Uh, I don't have the power glove. I only have the sensor. It's testing and working. Okay. Testing and working power glove sensor. I'll have to look that up. Is this uh, for a uh, Game Boy? Basically, somebody wanted to buy the power glove, but they didn't care about the sensor, so they left it. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. They only wanted the power glove to wear. Oh, I see you got some NES controllers over here. Yeah. So the, the display zapper. ones, I do five each on. And the, uh, and the one that's not discolored, I do 10 on, and they're all tested. Every, everything's tested and working. The book, the gun works, and the controllers. The gun's okay. 20. And this is from uh, Dreamcast. Yeah. Heidi wants to show me something, take you guys away from the games. Miss Pac Man. Sealed. For the Atari? That's, yeah, it's for the Sealed? Uh, How much uh, is that going? I was asking 100. 100? Okay. I'll be back. Thank you. Thank you. What'd you find? Way to run away from video games to see. I'm sorry. It's Barnum and Bailey. This is the original, like, The Greatest Showman, the musical. I mean, that's that's the circus, P.T. Barnum. You are just full of facts. No, I just, I just like musicals, I guess. I'm going to look up that power sensor glove, so I'll be right back. Okay, so this goes for maybe 35. I've never seen the green variant of this before. Actually, I've never seen one in person at all, and it's sealed. 
hundred, probably worth it, but I don't have that money with me. Do you only accept cash or do you have other no, forms? No, I'm taking Venmo, PayPal, Cash App. All right, perfect. Zelle. Do you know how much you're asking for the Dream Cash game? Oh, he's asking you a question too. The Dream uh, Cash? I do 30. 30? It's like a $50 game on eBay. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen the green version before. No, no, it's incredibly hard to find, especially steel. You're never gonna see what it's steel. Yeah, yeah. Um, how much for the just the sensor over there, the power glove sensor? My rock bottom on it, because I did test it, I do 25 bucks a day. Okay, uh, I'll probably take that. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't see what's inside the box. This box? Yeah. It's... Just it's empty. It's like the loot crate stuff, yeah. Right. There's the little inserts. Oh, coasters. the coasters. Yeah, yeah, they're coasters. And that's the box for the coasters, yeah, sorry. Okay. So those go in there. Um, that's in there. Oh, a little game. The pen, the star pen's in there. Okay. Uh, and socks. Socks. Not, yeah, Probably not my size. My, I wear two large yeah. and wides. <laughs> They're stretchy, but yeah, I, I, I don't I think they would. It the, says it says one size fits most. I don't fit in most. <laughs> yeah, that's not me. Yeah. All right. The box is just cool though. I like the box. Is that for the the pouch for a Game Boy? This is for the Game Boy Advance. Yes. Yeah, and then what's the Yoshi one? This one is also. Uh, it's also for one of the Game Boys, I think. Okay. Game Boy Advance SP, I believe. Okay. How much are you doing on all the little Mario toys individually, the individual toys? So the ones in the box here, I'm selling all together. For? 100 for all of them. There's 20 in there. Okay. They're, so that comes at $5 each, but there's some of those Jax figures that are like $20 figures. Yeah, I don't know much about figures. What about the little Mario plush? That five. Okay. Um, oh, these are cool socks. Yeah, those are good too. Huh, this is one of my favorite games. And if you bundle a few things, I'll do even better deal. Right, right, right. And anything in here, I would sell separately. I'll sell the box separately. I'll sell any pieces separately. It's just kind of all. I think I'll probably only take the sensor. Okay. Um, and uh, maybe the NES plushie over there. Yeah, the controller plushie. Uh, yeah. Oh, how much for the, I see the little play, the Joy, Joy-Con. That's, uh, it, it does work. It's got, uh, Pac-Man, yeah, it's a Namco one. So yeah, pretty much all the Namco games are on there. Okay. I think there's like 16 games on there. Do you know how much, how much you're selling that one for? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right there. It'd be 35 for everything. 35? Yeah. Uh, you throw in the Mario Cup by chance? This one? Yeah. Yeah. 35, I'll do that. I like that Bowser on there too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, just tell me your Venmo. All right, guys, got this whole thing for 35 bucks. That's pretty cool. <gasps> Pokemon cards. We could probably buy some of these and flip them too, like we did in the, this video with my niece and nephews. Uh, that would be cool. But I'm not going to, because I already spent some money on these. I think we can flip the sensor. We'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll go home and figure out everything we purchased. It's that time again. Purchase this, which means where is my girlfriend? Everyone keep an eye out. I do not see her. Maybe we can find some video games while we look for her. I found her. I found her. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. You see her? I see her. She took off her jacket, so she's harder to spot because I didn't realize she's wearing green now. Hi. Hey. I spent $35. Oh. Cool. So I think that you're satisfied with? Yeah. You proud of me? Yes. Good. So this is a power glove sensor for the NES. Anyways, reach on in there and grab uh, grab the cup. The cup? Uh-huh. What is this? It's a Mario cup. Oh. From so Mario? I got a cup? I don't know, it's cool. I got that for myself. I got this for myself too. <laughs> I think this was like five bucks. But he threw in the cup for free because he shot me a number. My counter was, will you throw in the cup for free? And he said, sure. So. Oh, they got rocks in the shape of PlayStation 4 controllers. Wow, that is fun. <laughs> this one's a PlayStation 5. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Yeah, the rock, the flat rocks are 10 each and they have this for 15. And this is, they're probably all supposed to be PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4. 
You said 10 a piece? Okay. Thank you so much. Those are really cool pieces you have though. God bless. Would you guys have purchased them for $10? I mean, they're probably worth that. I'm just trying to flip things. A lot of cars. Dollar a piece. Man, I wonder if he bought them for a dollar a piece back in the day and we lost our dollar lost purchasing power if we actually lose money holding on to those for so long when he thought they would be collectibles and everyone would want them. I see Lego. I see Star Wars. We're going. Look at all these blind figures. Oh, they got a charm in them? See, I, I don't know how to tell if they're real or fake. I don't do anything Pokemon. Maybe I should. Shiny Geo dude. Got some good cards in here, I think. Oh, I didn't even see the DS, guys. 120 for DS plus. Mario Kart might be worth money. The other one, I think, is 10. I don't know anything about the uh, stealth fighter. I'm gonna look those up real quick. They also got all these. Wow. That is awesome. I'm gonna look up the DS real quick, guys. So I looked up the DSi, and it looks like he has, I think, he has everything priced about correctly, so we're not, we, can't flip it. we can't flip it to make money, sadly. But we'll keep looking. Hey, Heidi, I wanted to ask what these are. Do you remember what these are? Um, some kind of game cartridge. Oh, this me? is a video game cartridge. I'm an idiot, guys. Oh, they got some Sega. I didn't even see it. Echo Jr. No way. No way. Your sister would love that. Lion King. I played that as a kid. not on the Sega. I don't know what it was on. So the yeah, these I hear do not sell well. I've heard do not buy these. Uh, well, I'll, I'll look at these, $10. We'll look these up. Uh, I'd rather just not give an offer because I don't want to uh, insult you yeah. no, you don't. for any reason. So. No, just don't. So yeah. about $50 for all that, that's awesome. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, I do uh, YouTube videos and stuff and I buy vintage games, so okay. now I'm learning right. about Atari. Here I is. have not, I had a second master system. I've never found an Atari yet, so. Oh, okay, so you're, you so got the games, now you need the system. Yeah, I do. And the, the dates of the uh, Columbus shows. Okay. So I'll, I'll uh, have to probably have some more Atari games to bring in the next show. All right, that sounds awesome. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. much, guys. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. They just took fifty dollars for all of those. Um, let me know if that was a good or bad idea. But Echo Junior will probably keep as a gift for my friend because she, because her sister loves Echo. Um, I got them all. Take a guess. How much? How much did I pay? Twenty dollars. Fifty. She's mad at me now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Sell them lots. Keep them. You know, good stuff. The first Atari thing I've ever owned, guys. And he's like, I'll bring more to the next show. He gave me the dates of the next show. I'm like, okay, maybe I can come in February. That'll be awesome. I think. Uh, that Sega Master System game should bring in maybe ten dollars alone, and then I'll look at the rest. We'll see if we made a good. Uh, we'll go through it and see if I made a good or bad decision. And I mean, they were asking uh, ten dollars for one of the games, so fifty dollars. I got the ten dollar game for like three bucks. So I mean. I wonder what this says. 
I don't know. Oh, but that's lovely. Someone translate this for us. It I might even be, be upside, down. upside down. <laughs> Who knows? Or sideways. Yeah. Somebody will figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Oh, look, penguins. <laughs> penguins! I love penguins, guys. Oh, Snoopy. Dolphin. My phone's at 50%. Oh, goodness. And we're not even 50% away through the thing, guys. I'm gonna turn down my brightness. Oh, they got the VHS. I wonder if these are worth anything. I'm gonna assume five, maybe 10 bucks at the highest for for these. We're gonna go ahead and look them up for fun. Well, I was right. The asking price is about $7 a pop for DVD VHSs. And these are some book. Painted ponies. Wow, more to translate, guys. These are awesome. Some Elvis trading card games. Hey, I wanted to show you the. Um, yeah. The did you already see the the glass animals? Yeah. They're awesome, aren't they? Uh huh. They are. So is this. I think it's a. I imagine it's a locket. Huh. Looks like a four panel locker. I like that. Yeah. That bottle, the, uh -huh. the rose. Yeah. yeah, these are D&D potions. <laughs> so we saw some glass figures earlier. Here's some metal guys. Yeah, I think I was thinking about something else that you're supposed to stay away from. Um, I may have passed Atari games in the past that me, so I'll have to keep a better eye out. Um, let me know in the comments down below and we'll go through it together to see if these Atari games are even worth it and what their price is on them. So. It is 3.17. 3.17? We got here at like 1. Yeah. What? Minecraft has changed so much. <gasps> I see Mickey! Oh my gosh. 85 Atari games. You go, Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. We're lost, guys. Help, help me. She's over here. <laughs>